My name is Roger Dumlin White, and I'm the president and CEO of Theralase Technologies Inc. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the fascinating research our scientific and preclinical teams have discovered in a memory response in the destruction of cancer with our photodynamic therapy. Roger, I understand there is new press release further validating Theralase's remarkable discovery of a memory response in the destruction of cancer. Can you tell me a little bit about that? In March 2012, Theralase did some research in a small animal model where we injected 350,000 colon cancer cells. We then allowed the tumor to grow to 5 millimeters in size. We injected our photodynamic compound and then within 4 hours light activated it. What we saw was a complete destruction of the cancer of the primary tumor. We followed those animals for 20 months and we saw no cancer recurrence, no scarring, and no more prevalence of cancer. We repeated that experiment in May 2014 where we took a cohort of animals, injected the 350,000 colon cancer cells, treated them with our photodynamic compound, light activated, and again, completely destroyed the cancerous tumor. However, what we did in that experiment is 10 to 23 days later, we re-injected the 350,000 colon cancer cells. What we found is that 60% of those animals did not develop any type of cancer. 40% had a small tumor regrowth, which was quickly extinguished by what we feel was the immune system. In the latest research, November 2014, what we did is we took another cohort of animals, we injected the 350,000 cancer cells, treated them with the photodynamic therapy and the light source, again 100% kill of the primary tumor, but this time we waited 20 days before re-injecting 350,000 cancer cells. What we found remarkably was 0% regrowth of tumors. So what we think is we've got the magic formula now what we can do is that there's a certain time period we feel for the immune system and the memory cells or memory T lymphocytes in order to have a search and destroy retraining to find those cancer cells. So it's very fascinating research. When do you plan to validate this fascinating technology in humans? Right now we're completing our preclinical work. We've chosen our clinical research organization which is JSS Medical. We've chosen our manufacturing partner to manufacture the photodynamic compounds, which is Sigma Aldridge Fine Chemicals, which is SFAC, which was recently purchased by Merck in a $17 billion all-cash deal. We are now building our medical and scientific advisory board. We will be commencing toxicity analysis in the beginning of 2015. With all this information, we plan to meet with Health Canada and the FDA in early 2015. Once we get the green light approval from FDA and Health Canada, we will can start enrolling subjects. We feel that we will be in a position to commence a Health Canada FDA phase 1, 2A clinical trial in non-muscle invasive bladder cancer in the first part of 2015. If this technology proves to be successful in humans, how early could we see the technology available to help cancer patients? It really depends on the regulators and the approval process. Commencing a FDA Health Canada Phase 1, 2A clinical trial beginning of 2015 will take us the rest of 2015 to complete that study. Uh, in the follow-up with FDA and Health Canada, we would do a Phase 2B study in 2016 and depending on fast-track approval and or breakthrough status approval with both Health Canada and the FDA, you could see commercialization of this technology in early 2017 or if we do a Phase 3 trial, it may be into 2018. But somewhere between 2016 at the earliest to 2018 at the latest.